madness. Squids no, everywhere. There you go, Batsy. Squids are on. Hey guys, just uh, got asked to do a bit of a um, squid cleaning video, so I thought I'd put one up for you. Uh, the way that I do it, um, it's not something that I'll come up with, it's something I was shown um, a fair few years ago, but hopefully it'll uh, it'll benefit you if you're going out chasing a few tiger squid. Um, there's a few other ways that you can do it, like you can use your uh, your, your squid bags and try drag them behind the boat, we haven't had a lot of success with that, there's a few other bits and pieces that you can get. but. This is by far the, the best way that we do it and the cleanest. So yeah, a knife, um, nice Keppel Island tiger squid, and something to turn the tubes inside out. Just use a broom. All right, before we bore you anymore, let's get into it. All right, first things first. A little nick down either side of here. One down that side. One down that side. Your thumb. In there, oh, bust that open, bust that out of the um, out of the skin, and you just flip him over, chuck your whole hand in there, and just keep taking that skin off of that quill as we go along. Get to the end, and then just give it a give it a gentle pull. Boom, there we go. So that's the quill and all the ink sac and everything that's coming out of the inside of that squid. Pull that down there, and just cut at the top of the ink sac. Ink sac. That's crap. That is really good. So we'll take them out to the reef and we'll chase around for and stuff with them. Squid head, one of the best baits you can get. Put that to the side. Rightio. And then we've got the, the tube. So about a 45 degree angle with your, with your knife towards the top. One that'll slit down that side. One that'll slit down that side. So before we go any further, before I forget, quick wash out inside. Another tip is is um, the cleaner that you can keep your workstation, the the better that the, the cleaner that your tube will come out in the end. So keep your hands clean, keep your workstation clean. Right, keep going. We've done our cuts. Finger in there, run it down one side. This is taking the skin and the flaps off. Down that side, then down the middle. So then you can see through the middle there, and you just sort of flick it around inside out. And then just start peeling that um, that skin off from the top. There we go. Just flipped it off the top. So you can see that. Pull it all the way down. Stop it a little bit from the bottom. Grab your knife, and then just cut that bit off at the bottom. So you can pull those flaps out of there and eat them if you want, but I'll just normally throw them to the side, just eat them for bait. Uh, use them for bait, not eat them. Right, a bit of a wash. Just keep that nice and tidy. Keep all that ink off it. I've got another mate that he, he'll take his tubes and his squid and everything down just on the beach uh, when he's out squidding and clean them up in the salt water. I, I find it just a bit more comfortable at home just to do it with a bit of a workstation. Rightio, inside out. Hopefully this will work all right. Right, made that look easy. <laughs> Normally easier than that. Right, so inside out. Move that up to the side, and then yeah, just clean him up. Keep all those bits of skin off. Normally there's a bit more guts and stuff in there. So you keep pulling your guts off and pull all the bits of skin off. sort of thing you can um, put these back on your bench there you can grab a, um, a dry towel grab a, grab a dry towel 
and wipe down the outside of that and those little bits of extra little bits of skin and that soon will come, will come off so that's pretty much it nice and nice and clean nice and tidy and uh, yeah hopefully that's helped helps you with your um, cleaning your tiger squid cheers